Hi, thanks for watching Artist Garage. Today we're going to show you how to replace a cabin filter on a Toyota Corolla. All Toyotas, all Hyundais, Hondas, Mazdas, Nissans, basically all Jap cars, Subarus, they're all located behind the glove, most of them. And they all go in and out as easy as this is going to be as I show you right now. The first thing you got to do is open up the glove. Look at the side of the glove. You always have a screw with a little shock absorber to open and close the glove nice and smoothly. You remove that little screw first. Set it aside. Pull it out. The next thing you need to do is release the flaps on each side of the glove. Just push in. Push in and push down and it comes right out. The whole glove is out. The cabin air filter is located behind the glove, as you can see here. All you have to do is release both flaps. There's a flap on each side. Release both flaps and pull it out. And there goes the cabin filter. I already replaced this one. So I want to show you what it looks like when it's nice and clean. When you see the dirty one, believe me, you'll know you need to replace it. People neglect to replace their cabin filters first because they don't know they have one. They don't never heard of it. And I think it's more important or just important to change the cabin filter as it is the car's air filter. You want the car to breathe in fresh air just like you want yourself to breathe in fresh air. And then all you need to do is put it back into the clips, nice and secure. And then you have to reinstall the glove department. But let me show you how much debris fell out of the filter the filter couldn't catch. Let me clean it up. And all I have to do, put the glove back in. You got little flaps here, and it connects. Line them up until they click. Now it's snapped in. And lastly, all you have to do is connect the shock right here. Put it back in the loop. Put the screw back in. Tighten it up. Just close the glove department. You're good to go. Thanks for watching.